What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Over Greggy Show. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside a motley crew today. <laughs> First off, yeah, this would be news on its own. The glue, Kevin Coelho here. This is where you talk. You talk. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, what's hey, going on? This is your first game over Greggy show. Like yeah, your first real game over Greggy one, show. Not where we're like drunkenly sitting around a chair at the table for the four. Well, hours. we're drinking, but oh, Lord. Give, me, give me a cheers to that. Over here, over here, comic book girl nineteen. <laughs> get out of here. You don't get anything. It's coffee time. Hi. Hey, hey comic book girl. Get it right up on that. Don't be afraid of it. Hey, hey. I know, oh, you, I know hey. you've never been on YouTube before. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for coming all the way from LA to hang yeah, out with us. Yeah, cheers. Thanks cheers. for having me. Motherfucker. Oh, oh. god damn it. Oh. Those These sons of What is getting oh, delivered god, now? Man, he, he went through there he like went, a tornado. Yeah. And over there, the pure one, Tim Gettys. Glad to most. Hello. Hi. This How is really you? exciting. This really is... excited about all of this. It's gonna be it's gonna be yeah. a good show. I yeah. can feel it. I can yeah. tell. Mm. It's just yeah, I can't first off, the ice bucket making its return because we're drinking on the return. show again. We haven't done this in forever. Mm -hmm. I'm honored. Our new friend 19 here. Kevin Coelho here doing his thing. Yeah. Of course, since he's doing the thing here, he's got to take notes here. And he's, it's just weird to see him like in the Nick spot with the headphones and the thing here where he's monitoring stuff over there when he should be over there monitoring. Yeah, he would have gotten this these gonna packages, be no problem People on his own. People are going to be able to see what Kevin has to do normally on the show. That's what? it. No, come on back. Right. What was the package? He what did the package look like? Was it a good package? Was it from Amazon? It was, was it my Suicide Squad stuff? It was a big box and a medium sized box. Do you guys do Prime? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. come on! Man, you can't live we, we look like a bunch of clowns. Well, like I, I was actually talking to some people that were like in my age bracket, and they were like, "I was like Amazon Prime, right?" And they were like, "What are you talking in LA? about?" Yeah. Wow. Oh, see, I would, if you're in the mm. middle of the country or something, I would. Be, it's okay. You don't know what Prime is. I guess that's fine. Right. Here we live and die by Prime. Yeah. yeah. There's no, you know, here there's no like WalMarts to go to. No. I, I heard that in San Francisco actually they have like next day or it's they day do. day Prime of. now. Yeah. Prime now, yeah. yeah. So good. Yeah, a yeah. friend of mine said that he got a package in like 11 minutes from when he ordered it. Yeah. <laughs> I well, there was one day where I needed a new uh, charger before I left on a trip. Yeah, and I got it in 30 minutes or whatever. That's Some guy ran it over. Yeah. I heard that Amazon, future. you know how those midnight releases for games, they're gonna start sending people at midnight. To deliver your game. Really? True story. Okay. Whoa. True story. Wasn't sure if that was gonna be a Tim Jones. No, joke that's a real, there. real story. Okay. Yeah. Amazon. I think of everything. Yeah. That shit's good. Convenience. That, is king. that shit's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the game over, Greggy Show. Each and every week, four, sometimes five best friends gather on this table. Where the fuck Kevin. were you, Kevin? I'm excited. It's a big moment. <laughs> yeah, I know it is. You blew it. You blew it right there. No, not because the table, because she's here. Oh, oh, this is I'm excited. Nervous. No, yeah, he, he's a big fan. We're all big fans. But he was the he's, biggest. He's the biggest, probably. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I say I was, I was on your channel first. I think. Personally. No, no, absolutely no, no, no. not. Yeah, I think so. No, 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 no. no. Kevin. No. Kevin told me about you many, many moons ago. Kevin's and OG. I was instantly upset. Kevin is the ogest of OG. Well, Kevin, what's the first episode that you watched? What's the what was the oh. one that got you? I mean, it was the Game of Thrones. Like, yeah. um, the the oh, what was the first the Epic History I, ones, right? No, it wasn't. That. It was before the Epic History ones. It was just Game of Thrones season one, like review or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. and Thanks, then you bro. had so much gold on there, and it's still coming, and it's long form, and I love it. We're gonna get to that. Each bringing a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, head over to Patreon.com/slash Kind of Funny, where you get each and every episode early, along with a bunch of exclusives, perks, and goodies. If you have no bucks to toss our way, no big deal. Head over to YouTube.com/slash Kind of Funny, where we post the entire show, topic by topic, day by day, until it goes up as one big MP3 and video for free. Now, 19. Comic yes. book girl, 19. Yes. If, uh, I, we know you. Kevin is in love with you. He's Don't worry. He's it's, engaged. It's, no, everybody is. It's fine. Yeah, no, it's that's true. good. We all are. I know. Um, <laughs> first, the people out there who don't know your story, they don't know who you are. Who are you and why are you here? Okay. Um. Well, geez, that's oh, such a question. How is she doing with the microphone? Do I need to... How keep, am I doing go, with this microphone? She's doing fine. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Okay, so uh, I am a person. I went to art school. Um, <laughs> I went to art school and, you know, I love critiquing art and I love art. It's a big yeah. thing of mine. I have a degree in comic books of all things. What's a degree in comic um, books look like? Were you the well, 19th person to get that? Right. Yeah. Uh, you got me. I know. <laughs> it's, uh, She's like, I got to go. Just uh, walk back to LA. Uh, <laughs> the... Um, yeah, so yeah, I got a degree in comic books, uh, and I was trying to get into doing comic books. But, but what does just, that mean? What does that mean? Where, so where do you go for a degree in comic books, uh, and then what does that mean? Like in okay. terms of you got a degree in drawing comics? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I went to Savannah College of Art and Design in Georgia. Okay. I had a, a pretty sweet scholarship, so I went to a private art school, but I still got a lot of student loans, so it was like 50-50. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, I wanted to draw and create comic books and things like that, And uh, but man, let me tell you, trying to break into the comic industry is pretty... 
It's pretty hard. It's a tough cookie to crack. Yeah. And uh, after a little while, I was just like, you know what? I need to do something else. So I started tattooing instead. I tattooed for five years. Uh, during that five years, I met and moved out to L.A. My creative partner, Tyson Persall, Tyson Wheeler. Uh, he is the director of our show. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was watching him do all these like crazy short films like by himself because he's like he's like ridiculous. Like he does like everything, like writes it, directs it, edits it, composites it, like everything. And so I was like, hey, dude, like, why don't we just like get me drunk and talk about X-Men? And that would be pretty cheap. And it wouldn't take you like three years to finish a project. Was that an upsell, though? Did he was um, he like, I make films. 19. <laughs> I'm not going to go out and watch you get drunk and talk about he was No, he was kind of down because it was OK. So I kind of snuck in. He was in a weird place because before I we had come together, he had a creative partner, uh, this other guy, Brett. And we just released actually their um their project together, Ghost Perv, on our YouTube Ghost channel. Ghost Perv. Ghost Perv, yeah. And I can you, can you yeah, please give, me the give us the pitch, pitch on uh, Ghost um, Perv. Okay, so Ghost Perv, it's okay. You have this guy. He's like this pervy uh, construction worker guy, and this really pretty girl walks by, and uh, he dies, and then comes back and haunts her. Uh, and he can. And the thing is, is if you're a ghost and you can be in a pretty girl's room, well, you can like see her like in the shower and stuff like that. You can peep on her all the time. There's nothing sure, she can sure. do about it. So he does. And there's definitely some like masturbation shenanigans and stuff that goes on in this movie. Like it's my favorite some, shenanigans. Some ectoplasm may yeah. or may not yeah, yeah, be there happening. It is, there it is. There it is. Um, it's pretty raunchy. And uh, yeah, I'm not in it, but I helped produce it and and do stuff like that. So, anyways, uh, Brett moved to Texas, and so he, you know, Tyson was like, "Oh, I need a I need someone to make stuff with." Yeah. And I was like, "Hey, <laughs> you want to make some stuff with me?" So he gave me a shot. And I think it paid off pretty well. And so, uh, yeah, so we started making the show, started uploading it to YouTube, uh, just talking about comic books and stuff like that. And uh, I was really excited to be doing it because I, I was like, oh, I want to be, you know, I don't see many girls talking about comic books. Right. And so, and I don't see people talking about them in the way that I talk about them. And, and I don't really have anyone to talk to about comic sure. books. So, like, I was like, maybe I'll talk to a camera about them. And uh, I guess people really liked it. So, How long have you been doing Comic Book Girl 19 now? Four years. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, four years now. So for the first year, uh, I was still tattooing and then he was doing odd jobs and stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, just we hit like about almost 50, we were like 40,000 subscribers, I think, when we launched our Kickstarter. And then I think we got 50,000 not soon after that. And so we did a Kickstarter and I quit my job the very first day of our Kickstarter. We smashed our goal. It was really awesome. Was the goal um, I quit my job? Uh, well, well, the, we had our, you know, Kickstarter goal, goal, and I was already quitting. I was like, I already just, I was like, I'm out, whatever it does. Like I'm out. I can, we can figure this out. And so it did great. And what was I, the, the goal and what was it for? What was the um, Kickstarter for? And when was this? Give us the whole story. Okay. So, okay. The, the Kickstarter was, I guess, April, 2012 or 2013, whatever, whatever three years ago was, okay. um, so, yeah, we did a Kickstarter where we wanted to make more episodes more quickly, essentially, which mean, meant just us like quitting our jobs and then working on it full time. Sure. So, yeah, so we did this big Kickstarter. Our goal was twenty thousand uh, dollars. We raised about 60. So and that, that was just we we smashed our first goal in the first day of the twenty thousand. And like I was like, we did not expect that. It was really amazing. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, our fans really supported us and they wanted to see more. So we did quit our jobs and then we started working on the show full time. And man, let me tell you, fulfilling Kickstarter orders is really nuts. Like, cause there's like people like you have to do all that stuff. Yep, we had yep. really, really cool incentives, but I kind of overdid it a little bit. You know, yep. it's, it's your, it was my first time. No, know? we know that too. We're yeah. quite familiar. Yeah. Yeah. It has we'll sign all the posters. Yeah. And then people are like, Hey, I got an, I got a poster tube, but no poster. And then that other people are like, I got a poster tube with two posters. And you're like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you, and you got to deal with that. Yeah, like on yeah, an yeah. individual Yeah. There's basis. nowhere else for it to go. The work doesn't go anywhere yeah. else. It doesn't go anywhere else. So, you know, so I did that. We, and we got that done and it was really, it was wonderful. And then uh, the next year, like the thing is, is, you know, our ad revenue stuff, you know, it's YouTube. It's not, mm -hmm. you know, me. I don't have a million subscribers. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just so half a million. So we, no, well, almost. We're <laughs> yeah. almost so close. Um, but yeah, so we uh, we always have to kind of find outside sources, whether that's through like Audible ads, sure. sponsorships, whatever. And uh, another thing that we did was a calendar the next year. We did the 24, 2015 cosplay sexy magic calendar. And that was a lot of fun. Uh, I had a lot of it was a lot of fun doing that. And that kind of that funding carried us for a long time. Sure. So now we recently just started doing Patreon. We've oh, heard of it. We know that side. <laughs> yeah, we've heard that you, may side. Have, you may have heard of it. 
Uh, we just got on Patreon, so we got that going on as well. And then, uh, yeah, we've also, in addition to our YouTube content where we talk about mo- comics, movies, whatever is, you know, the weird stuff around comics and movies. Sure. Uh, everything. Uh, we also, I don't know, talk about uh, the X-Men a lot. We've done three X-Men, Epic History X-Men documentaries. And those we've done are awesome. a lot of Game of Thrones so stuff. A yeah. lot of Game of Thrones stuff. Uh and yeah, we try to do kind of longer, more, I don't know, like look past the surface because a lot of people just talk about surface shit. And I'm like, no, let's talk about the themes. And, <laughs> like, again, I went to art school. So it's sure. like, I want to like, that's what you do. You put somebody puts their art up there and you say, oh, I like this about it. And this about it isn't working. And so, you know, I think that critique should be in more than just art schools. I feel like it's really good for humanity. I feel like a lot of people online don't necessarily always understand, like, it's OK to like critique. something but not love something yes, and like get to, into to like it but also be real about it a lot of people are mm-hmm. sensitive on the internet these days oh, I don't yeah. know if you've noticed this Ooh, yeah they sure are they, <laughs> they sure don't like are. they don't, they don't like, like opinions they don't That's like really opinions. What it is. they don't like being told they're being wrong they hate when the cast is all female oh, they hate yeah. that oh, yeah. Yeah. They get them. Mm. so here's what I want to know you can drink your bourbon okay what I want to know is for you when do you fall in love with comics this has to happen at an early age right to set you on this path that absolutely you're gonna... absolutely uh i remember i was a young impressionable girl in fourth grade i believe and i think that's when the spider-man and the x-men cartoons came out oh yeah uh and so solid times and i'd already had some run-ins with superheroes through uh, my uncle he's only 10 years older than me so when i visited him and my grandma he had like star star wars stuff star trek stuff like they Real nerd watch, stuff. Yeah, they made me watch like Buckaroo Banzai across the eighth dimension. Like I read like Dark Knight Returns at his mm, house. Mm. Like, you know, and I was probably way too young for it, but I loved it. It was great. A female Robin, cool. Uh, <laughs> yes. I was like, yes, <laughs> Gary Kelly. Like, awesome. I'm in. And so, yeah, so with his kind of influence, and he always gave me hand me down, uh, his hand me down like Nintendos and Super sure. Nintendos and mm-hmm. stuff. So I was playing video games too. I was doing a lot this of This sounds like a cool uncle. You know, I was doing, yeah, he was cool. He was cool. And uh, and so yeah. That's kind of where it started. I really fell in love with X Men and Spider Man, uh, and I so I started like getting the cards, like the nineteen ninety four Flare Ultra cards. <laughs> um, and you're finding out like how powerful everybody yes. is. Yeah, and they have a little story. I love those cards. I just recently rebought them a couple of years ago, just because they're so mm-hmm. they're really nostalgic. Yeah, trading cards is such a funny thing because they they exist for everything. We were at Comic Con last mm-hmm. week, and you're walking by, and I'm just like, why why is there Super Mario Bros. the movie cards? Yeah, like this yeah. is a thing. People buy them. All right. Yeah. Cool. Are they still making? Them? Are they still a big deal? Kevin, you're the youngest. I think they're still making. Them. They yeah. still make yeah. them. I mean, the, but are they I, a big deal of these kids At, i remember come on just blow up again well no yeah, that's different I, I, the I, trading I, I cards I, collectible okay, cards got it, got it. You're, i will yeah. never forget when i got the final card i needed when i saw matt noel going through his terminator 2 cards and i saw the one card i didn't have for my collection that had the entire collection of terminator yeah. 2 cards and then i was like what the fuck do i do with all these terminator 2 cards you have them in a binder and exactly they just sit yeah and yeah they're... yeah i got all these twin peaks cards <laughs> 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 um they're really ridiculous um, but yeah, so from there, I just, I don't know, I started hanging out in comic book stores. Like, nice. there was a bunch where I lived. I, I grew up in Huntsville, Alabama. And uh, yeah, I hung out at Com- Comic Corner and I took comic book drawing classes because I used to draw a whole bunch. Yeah. And it was like my little deal in life, a little drawer. And so, yeah, so I was just kind of stuck with that. I went through high school. I had a really great art teacher who was like really encouraging. And uh, she was like, you can go to art school. You don't have to be a doctor. And because also I was going to maybe be as a doctor. And I, I had like, I had two full rides. I had one to UAH and UAB. And so I wouldn't have had to have student loans, but I was like, I want to go to art school. Yeah, it's, classic. And you know what? Fuck being a doctor. <laughs> well, it's just, it's a lot of school. It's like, no, it's like, a ton of like school. nine mm. to 11 years of school. And it's school. all super confusing. People, they graduate school, but then they still have residencies and something else. And there's all these other real things. things. I don't know what the hell no. Yeah, no, I want to do, but I want to do like forensic pathology where you're like cutting up dead people and stuff like that. Cause <laughs> it's like, it's like a puzzle. You want to find out why they died. But, you know, I don't need to be in a morgue. I need to be out there living as an artist. God damn it, I gotta be out there. So that's what I did. And, you know, SCAD, I have a love-hate relationship with SCAD, but it really prepared me for definitely, like, being in L.A., because mm-hmm. LA is like it's like a giant art school because you have all the different like oh here's the photography people and then like yeah. there's like this made the anima- the animation people was there film kids at the yeah, school too yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Film kids. there's the film kids uh, that's what Tyson actually went to film school there so, oh cool yeah so is that how you guys met then um well, it's so weird we went to the same high school we didn't know each other and then in Huntsville or Madison Alabama and then we went to the same college and we met there through like mutual friends who also went to the same high school. And then, yeah, and we just knew each other for years. And then, uh, yeah, and he was he was out here a year before I was out mm. here. He was living with his friend, Robert Hoffman, who's another person from 
Madison, and he was like a dancer, and he was in um, like Step Up Two. He was like oh, the Step lead Up Two from Step Alabama to Step Up Two. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, they were buddies, and they were they were hanging out, and then I moved out. And then a couple of years later, started making the show, and I've been in LA for six years yeah, now. Yeah, but I mean, so that's the thing. Now you're jumping over so much. Here. Okay, and, I know. And there's you're so, fascinating there's a lot. story. You're there's fascinating. A lot. You keep saying the show. If somebody doesn't know, is, is the show is just you talking to the the camera about comics and things that interest you, right? Yeah. And then there's a robot. Yeah, my robot sidekick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> robot. So you're you're in you're in the tattoo shop, um, and you're tattooing people, and you're like, "There's got to be more to life than this." <laughs> yeah. And you say, well, why don't you film me talking about X-Men? Yeah. Do you think at that time that you, this is going to set you on a path? Or are you just trying to, ha- you just want to talk about X-Men? I just want to talk about X-Men. Yeah. I No, I didn't have any like, oh, this is some push that we're making. It was just like, oh, let's try this. And I, I you know, I did the art thing for a long time and I kind of forgot about my performing side of myself. Mm-hmm. When I was younger, I was like a little performer. Sure. But I'd, I'd forgotten all about that. And then, you know, having a amazing videographer partner right there just like well hey put me on camera like, yeah. I've been watching him put other people on camera I'm like I can do that so yeah so he did and it, I guess it clicked with the audience because I don't know I'm, I'm like so the way I talk I I talk I mean I have these conversations with myself I think a, I overthink things a lot I sure. have a lot to say so it's like really great to have just an impartial camera to talk to about all of my things that never interrupts you just imagine you going huh oh, yeah, yeah. It's, tell it's me more about like, that yeah oh, yeah there's so much and I like I said I don't have a lot of people that I can talk to, that like my own friends and family like they don't necessarily watch my stuff like they don't want to like a lot of my mm-hmm. friends don't read comic books of like course. they don't do any of this stuff so I, you know, it's interesting. Was that hard though? I mean, you, you said, you know, growing up, you get in the comics, you start hanging out at the comic shops. Mm-hmm. Was it not having a peer on that level? Were you worried about falling out of it ever? Um, Wait, say that one more time. Were you worried about falling out of comics and art and all this stuff? Or like not having, even when you go to art school, you'd mentioned there's not many women involved with comics. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, I mean, for me personally, I've always been attracted to, I, don't, I just like what I like and I like mm-hmm. comic books. And, you know, for me, I've had a really great experience with like, guys and boys over the year like they're not like super mean to me because i'm like cool and then they're cool to me and it's just fine yeah you scare so, most of them probably well yeah that's you intimidate too. tim look at him yeah i'm so intimidated no, it's, it's true people ask they're like people are like do you get hit on all the time i'm like no like, <laughs> yeah. like people, i put off the vibe of don't fuck with like, me so now i'm left I, and I, i'm weird people are like is she a lesbian i don't know uh you know and it's just like i and that's fine with me like perfect <laughs> like, let the mystery like, continue like, yeah it's fine um but yeah, wait, where was I? Fuck, no, like I've been drinking and you're getting me all excited. Hey, you're the one who wanted to drink. You brought this on yourself. I so all right, I, want the, I want the history. I, I didn't know. I okay, wasn't fine. done. Remember, because what I was Go, saying, Greg. was it hard to find peers? Like when, since you were, you were hanging out at comic shops, yeah. not many females who want to do what you right. want to do. You, your friends don't even like it that much. Right. Were you ever in a point where like trying to almost falling out of it? Well, I mean, I've gone in and out of comic books, like especially well in college, like in high school, I was reading a whole bunch. And mm. then in college, like I was a really poor college. Sure. Art no, student, I know that well. uh, so I was not buying comic books. I was going to the bookstore and just reading them off the shelf and yeah. then putting them back. And I'm like, I feel terrible, but yeah. I, I would I used to buy you, but I can't. Today. <laughs> yeah, I had a boyfriend. He had, I would read his comics because he's like had a family who was like kind of supporting him more. Yeah. yeah. And I, I kind of had to support myself a little bit more in college. So I was like working a whole bunch. and I just didn't <laughs> have that. Uh, yeah, I was like stealing like a lot of food from Walmart at one point, <laughs> but I got away with it. It was fine. How are you stealing it? Give everybody the pro tips. Um, like you go to the produce I mean, market, like, putting apples in your pockets. Yeah. I mean, well, Luna bars, especially. Uh, those are really, you can just get yeah, the singles course, yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So there was some of that going on, but it was, it was like wild west. It was Savannah, Georgia is weird. That's a weird place, guys. Like it is, you like, <laughs> that place is not the, I don't know. It's, it's interesting, hmm. but, um, but yeah, so I got out of it then and then. When I was working at the tattoo shop, uh, there was a piercer there, Kirk, Captain Kirk. He's been on my show before. Uh, he was every like Wednesday, he was going to get his comic books. And then me and the owner, Coop, were like, we want to read your comic books, you know? And so then it got to the point where we would shut down the shop every Wednesday. And then we would go <laughs> to get our awesome. comic books and come back. And then we'd all read them. And then, you know, if somebody got one that the other one didn't buy, we'd trade them around. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so we were doing that for, like, when the New 52, like, first started coming yeah. out, um, that's when we, like, I really got back into it. And I read a whole bunch of that. Um, that was the perfect time to dive in. Sure. And, All the number uh, ones again. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a good time to dive in. Back and so, walk again. <laughs> well, I just, yeah. Well, whatever. And then, uh, yeah, so that's kind of where I got back into it. And then after that, like, I'd been so knowledgeable about reading everything at that point yeah. that I was ready to do the show because I'd 
kind of boned back up on everything. So then uh, talk me through the first few episodes of the show. Yeah. Like is, it's not where it is obviously now, but right. I mean, was it still in, was it on its way to that? Like, cause the robot's such a g- genius fucking idea. <laughs> I wish yeah. we had a robot. Okay. I can, I can talk about robot. Um, if you, we just released uh, life in space, which is another one of Tyson Wheeler's short films. Uh, I appear as a dead person on the floor and one thing again, I'm not like really, really in it, but uh, oh yeah, I am a, I am an alien. Actually I bump and but you can't tell it's me. It's really stupid. Um, <laughs> but robot robot was in that. Yeah. Um, but before that he was built originally to be in a car commercial uh, in Atlanta, but it never, I don't think the car commercial ever happened or something. <laughs> and, uh, and so, you know, robot was just hanging out, uh, you know, in the corner back there. And I, you know, I had been trying to get rid of him. I was like, can we just get rid of this? guy like hanging out like taking up all the space on yeah, the balcony yeah. and uh and then so tyson was like no we're starting this show i want robot to be on it and then i'm like oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> like that that robot is a lot to deal with um like because you know i'm breaking the fourth wall here and t-bone's gonna get so bummed at me and breaking the fourth wall he doesn't want me to do it but i'm gonna do it for you guys anyways <laughs> That costume sucks to wear, and I'm the one who has to wear that shit half the time. I'm little, and it's like hurts your arms, and like that. So my my annoyance at robot is very real. Like, it's just like ugh, you know, and uh, I just love him because he's like the perfect foil for you because you're so knowledgeable, and every time you cut to him, he asks like the dumbest question. I know, and I genuinely don't know what he's going to say. Is the thing like a lot of times, like it is, I'm very much caught off guard by whatever it is. Like it's not scripted it's not a scripted show sure. you know it's like we have some bullet points of things we want to talk about with mm-hmm. our review but we don't uh have it all like here's my line you yeah know? well that's the thing is it seems like you guys work in in, a, in this really interesting partnership obviously with you bringing on camera and knowledge and him being the videographer and all these mm-hmm. different things but then even like watching the uh the apocalypse review you'd put up mm-hmm. i noticed like you know you'd hear him say something you'd be like oh right blah, blah, blah. like yeah. he's just so great at like i'm assuming you guys talk about this beforehand oh, and then because yeah. i know how many times i get into a review where i'm talking 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 and it's over and we put it up and i'm like wait fuck, fuck i didn't say that about yes. i wanted to say yeah, yeah, yeah. yes 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 yeah. so to have somebody there who isn't like that worried about that but knows where you want to go and that seems really helpful no he's an amazing creative partner i mean he really he makes me look a lot and sound a lot better than <laughs> i do uh so just saying he's like i'm really lucky to have him as a fucking creative partner because that dude's ridiculous he's kind of like the and i mean i don't want to like He's kind of the Jack Kirby to my Stan Lee, mm-hmm. you know, a little bit. But, like, I'm not going to be an asshole like sure. Stan Lee and, like, take all the credit, hence why I'm talking about him yeah. right now. And, like, say, like, he's... This isn't a Bob Kane, Bill Finger situation. Yeah, okay. no, <laughs> like, he's half of the show. There would be no show without him. And so, you know, all that brilliant editing. That's something that kind of a lot of people take for granted is, like, oh, like, you're so great. You get up there and talk. And, yeah, I do my thing. But really, it's in the editing. Sure. Because, like, he edits that stuff together with such a nice smooth like rhythm and flow i mean it's just like i don't know i i enjoy i like when i get can sit in the little director's chair and watch him edit and be like no no no, like put this here and then you know we kind of just go back and forth it's yeah. very much synthesized that's the production of it yeah, and that's really cool the both of us that's my favorite thing about your channel and your content is i think that it, it's very unique especially in the youtube landscape where it isn't like just sitting there talking about x-men is not that you know, interesting of an idea. And like, that's all we do too. But there's a difference with how you do it because the, there is a production value and there is thought put into it. And uh, yeah. especially the bigger pieces, especially the game of Thrones, uh, yeah. history pieces and the X-Men documentaries, like they're documentaries. Like yeah. there was a lot like the B roll, every single thing you say, there is the exact thing you're talking about being yeah. shown and the transitions and just there's, it, there's effort being put into it in a very real way yeah. that I think uh, sets it apart from everything else. And it, it makes it, I always feel like I'm learning, yeah. you know, it could be a comic I've read a bunch of times or seen the movies or whatever, but the way you guys present the, the, the real content, it's yeah. like very impressive. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I don't know if you guys watched Silicon Valley at all. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Um, but you know, there's just like a part where Guilfoyle was just like, I just can't do shit work, you know? And like, that's Tyson. Like he just like, he has to make it. To the point where even I'm like, dude, like for real, it's like, good enough. Well, like right now, like we we did our Patreon, we hit our first goal, so we're gonna rebrand our live show. We've been doing this live show where we talk about you know BS movie news that's going on yeah. and whatever else, and uh, and so he's like, I want to make. A giant Hollywood Hill mountain and it's going to be like chicken wire and it's got plaster bandages and it's being painted. And we even went to the little train store to get like little fake grass. <laughs> and like I was being such a bitch to him yesterday about it. I was like, 
how much does this cost you? It's like, oh my God. And then it's getting bigger and bigger. You know, it's like, <laughs> I'm like the asshole producer that says yeah. no to everything. And then you like, he's that, the though. crazy director. That's the thing. You gotta, you know? it, we've noticed this with our stuff too, is like, as long as there's one person playing producer and one person playing yeah. director, you're going to make good content because it's like the crazy ideas are being put out there, but you're also being realistic about it. Yeah. So yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, no, I, I just, it's so funny. I just ordered this uh, house to caterpillar dog figurine that some random artists are making um electric fang i think is their deal at electric fang and uh and t-bone was like hey like i want to take him and put him on the mountain put the caterpillar dog. i'm like no like this is my collectible like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everything <laughs> goes to this goddamn show like nothing sacred yeah like. this is a bad example right now because this is here but this stuff is that we switch out the, the thing back here with all sorts mm -hmm. of collectibles and it's all my stuff yeah. and like so lots of my stuff started living in this room yeah and now that we're moving to the nice studio where maybe we don't need those collectibles i'm suddenly just gonna have armfuls of garbage <laughs> like, oh, where yeah, I, put yeah. all this I know stuff. i know like i we should have a giant garage sale right. Like of just like old props and shit. Well, like like we, these, you can't see the audience can't see them. These shelves over here, we put up like I put up one weekend because we were gonna originally shoot Colin and Greg live against that wall, yeah. and then we never shot that way. Yeah. So now there's just all this random shit, these pouch up shoes and all this other stuff. Oh, Kevin's taking a photo. What a smart guy. Yeah. Where we store everything we don't need when it's this. It's like this is the oh, life we live. Oh now. no, I mean we've got like in the studio we have like a, a studio apartment that also has a studio in it. Uh, but yeah, it's like, we've got those, those Martha Stewart cubes or those nine yeah, by yeah, nine yeah. things that are super cheap. We've got them like stacked up like eight, not like it's like eight or no, it's like, I don't know. We have like 12 of those fucking things or something. And like, it's just filled with yeah. like comics and yeah, yeah. books and movies and little toys and everything All else. All the random shit you pick up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I said, yeah. Oh, I should, I should probably do a purge at some point. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I need to. Patreon perks, man. I know, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah then you gotta mail them out. You know how to. Oh, oh yeah, yeah no, bad. I've just been yeah. mailing out some stuff to super patrons, but I put in a special and went to the comic book store. Yeah, and I got like new number one issues of like comics that I've been liking, and so I like I put like I signed it and I sent it and I put it in there with a little note and like was Very like, sweet. hey, like read this comic because a lot of people don't really read comics. I know it sucks. It's scary. I know. We'll talk about that soon. Though. I know. I know. Yeah, don't don't look at okay. no. Don't look at it. <laughs> don't look at it all. all right. All right. Kevin, now I know you're a big fan. Uh huh. Of 19. And yep. I can tell because you have not once yelled at her to get closer to the microphone. And I'm you are sorry. So I'm worst. You're I'm so worst. Have you, here's I'm the, I just want everyone to know that Kevin on his phone, he has somehow he's dialed the, the, the soundboard is oh, on man. his phone. Wow. So, yeah, so right he's there. all set. Yeah. You're a pro That's producer. Sad. Pro That's producer. It's pretty cool. I'm very impressed with you, Kevin. All right. I'm going to be real cozy with this mic. We, we, we're getting you. What do you okay. want to know? <laughs> we're get, I, I think we're getting you. I don't know. I wasn't prepared to be sitting here. You weren't? No, not at all. So what's happening, it's funny you're talking about, you know, your guy, T-Bone. Yeah. All tied up in the studio business. Yeah. That's where our, our Nick is. Mm -hmm. Colin, of course, on vacation. You knew that was going to happen. Uh, but Nick, yeah, was going to make this show because he's a fan as well. And he can't because he's trying to launch our new studio and get it up to code and get it yeah. up Yeah. Yeah. That's the dream, man. I know. I would, no, I know. It can, yeah. I, it's, I, it's hard for me to, to contemplate that we're in the final month or month and a half or whatever yeah. it's maybe two deep weeks yeah. whatever the hell is it gonna end up being that we're in this place for the final time you know? yeah it's pretty crazy yeah i mean that's the thing with you is like you guys use sets in a way that a lot of other like youtube channels don't do and you've been doing that forever and i always thought that, that was really impressive because it's like you create a, a sense of like you always talking about like you were talking about how deep you go into the content mm -hmm. i think that uh when you watch the even a couple of years ago the the show having the comic books behind you it didn't it looked like it was designed you yeah. know, yeah. and I think that that really adds to the, oh, I need to take this seriously, mm -hmm. you know, because if it was just you sitting, talking to the camera, it, it doesn't have that same kind of vibe or feel. So I, I'm a, that's really cool that like you guys have that aesthetic down. Yeah. And I mean, T-Bone and I were both, I mean, we both went to art school. Like, I mean, I we both have color theory. Like, we know all this stuff. So like, we like to make stuff. I mean, we made a cardboard Robocop outfit. So like, <laughs> we're, I don't know, we get down, we get crazy. We like some arts and crafts time. So mm -hmm. it's like, because, and I'm so glad that we have those skills. And that's the thing. It's like, you have to be able to kind of do everything, you know, yeah. in this line of business. You have to do your own marketing and you have to do your own shooting. You have to do everything. And, you know, he's gotten like my makeup skills have even gotten way better over the past few years. Um, but yeah. So, yeah, the sets and the backgrounds and stuff, that's always been something that's very important to Tyson to make everything look really nice because he, he realizes that yeah. he wants people to take it seriously. But people don't always realize that it's just like they don't. But but that's the thing, though, is like even if they don't realize how much work goes into yeah. it, I think that subconsciously they can tell there's a difference, yeah. you know? And I think it's like good editing. You don't notice when things are edited exactly. well. You only notice when they're they're bad, you know? Yeah, yeah. it's like good makeup, 
you know. Yeah, exactly. Same, same exactly. Thing. You know, you gotta have that artist touch, you know. So when you're doing tattoos, yeah, and you start this, you don't think it's going that place. Yeah. Now that you're here, though, yeah, you are the face of YouTube. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What's? I mean, you just did this Marvel show, so you're doing mm-hmm. this hosting stuff outside of just doing, the, you know, the 19 stuff. What what is your plan for the next five years? Where do you see all this going? Well, I like to I like to let the universe have a little bit of room to work because mm-hmm. sometimes the universe has bigger plans for you than you have for yourself. So I don't want to like pin anything down particularly, but I mean I'm open to a lot of different avenues. I've been I'm here's the thing, okay? You gotta just you just gotta like wait for your like that little peek in the door and then you can just ah like you Run just rush it. in and so i'm just always like waiting for like whatever the next opportunity is going to be uh but uh, we have our own production studios it's called 19 productions and so i mean one of my dreams would be to grow that into a fully functional production studio with more than just two people running it and have a real studio and have people that we pay to work for us and edit and do things uh and then be able to just produce more content more content on a larger scale. Sure. Um, that's like definitely one thing. I mean, I'd love to make movies. I'd love to make TV shows. I'd love to make like weird online content, like whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I just want to make more stuff. And, you know, I I enjoy hosting. I, I really like hosting. I want to do more of that, you know, and see kind of see kind of where that takes me. Sure. Um, but also, you know, it's like I was thinking actually in the car this morning about how, you know, I'm really sad with horror films and I'm like, God, I'm just gonna have to make a horror film, you know, and like, I mean, if I'm going to make a horror film, I'm going to star in it. And like, <laughs> and like, I was like, maybe I could be a vampire lady or something, you know? And I was just like, oh, I feel like you I... make a pretty good vampire lady. I think I would too. I think I would too. And I was trying to like, think of something to like, oh, but vampires are kind of played out a little bit, but I don't know. No, I mean, you can bring due. them back. They're due. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah well, yeah. maybe they are. I don't know. The, everything moves so fast. Now, exactly. But, yeah. I think Twilight watered them down. Yeah. So he needs to bring them back hardcore. Yeah. Hardcore. Yeah. Hardcore vampire stuff. <laughs> yeah. Some LA vampire exactly. business. There you go. You know, I got get this one girl uh that's like you know i kind of want to be like hey girl you want to write a weird horror movie with me you know she's got a shaved head i got a shaved head like it'd be pretty awesome now do you know the girl or is it just you've seen her with a shaved head like <laughs> no no i know her okay, i know okay. her yeah yeah dylan meyer yeah she's she seems cool there's a lot of people that i'm like just like waiting like i know all these being in la is so awesome because there's so many creative people yeah so like i love meeting all these new creative people and like trying to figure out ways to work with them sure, eventually yeah, sure. <laughs> where it's like how can we work on a cool project and have fun together we know this one dork named max landis we could introduce you to him yeah yeah, yeah I, of course I you but you'd be like I, hey yeah. i have this idea for a vampire movie he's like that's interesting and then tomorrow he'd hand you the script you're like this isn't what i, I wanted to write it with you <laughs> yeah it's like, that's I, done though yeah I, I know max i know you know. I, I know max he's an interesting character he is it's one way to put it. he's max <laughs> <laughs> he is he's max and uh he had his like very first comic-con panel about like dirk gently and he got yeah, to yeah. be on it and I was like, I'm so proud, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. just like, keep going, Max, because he really is a super talented guy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So before we switch topics, I almost mm-hmm. missed this question, okay. which would have been foolhardy. What's the origin of your name? <laughs> oh, that God. was the question that you totally cut me off for, Greg. Well, oh. seeing as how she hadn't answered mine, maybe you should sit down and learn from the master Ooh. interviewer. Did you ever think of that? No. You're not even drinking bourbon. Just keep drinking your coffee. Oh, you man. Jerk. It smells good, though. Um, is you know, this it's thing is, I, a lot of times I have really cute stories for a lot of things, but this one I feel like is going to be a super letdown. <laughs> it was just like, we were just like dicking around on Google and we're like, what's free and available and just trying different combinations sure. of different things. And, uh, somehow, I don't know, we just stuck with comic book girl 19 and I, I do, I will say for the 19 number, uh, in the dark tower series. The uh, 19 is the number of Ka. It's like a really big deal in the Stephen King universe. Sure. So it's got that association for me. And also it is, I'm into the tarot. I read the tarot cards and stuff. And so, uh, yeah, 19 is the sun card in the major arcana, which is the card of universal endorsement and doing what you love. And like, it's awesome stuff. It's like really positive. So if you actually, if you watch Mad Men at the end of Mad Men, uh, Matthew Weiner's company, Weiner Bros. Uh-huh. It has the 19 card. Um, so it's like, oh, you know. And then yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you, Mad Men. Like, <laughs> I'm on to you, pal. Excellent. Yeah. That wasn't a bad story at all. You had a good story. You're all worried about it. Wow. We know all about trying to find names on the internet. Oh, yeah. We were almost moth pudding. Yeah. Oh, really? Instead of kind of funny. No, you know, I know awful. I can't. I know I can't be comic book girl nineteen forever. You know, but it's like when you make that transition. Eventually, you will. Yeah, you, know? you will become comic book woman nineteen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I already. I already feel that. But you know, I think 
I don't know. I was, I had a thing about my name. Like, I don't know if I want to do my last name or like pick another last name, but then I don't know. I feel like it's kind of already out there, but uh, you know, yeah, that just recently happened, right? Or some article that put your name on. Cause I saw you yes. say, on tw- somebody said on Twitter, like, Oh, now I know your name. You're like, yeah, it. I'm not thrilled about that. God damn it. AOL. Yeah. Like I, <laughs> AOL. <laughs> I know, so silly. Well, I, that's what's even cooler is that you got quoted in the New York Times as Comic Book Girl 19. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, well, no, they, they, I think in the, no, they did say, they did say Comic Book Girl 19. But yeah. They also said my name name. Oh, yeah, I, did they, I only saw the But they said my full name, which made me sound like some sort of like serial killer or something. Like, why the three names? Like, <laughs> what? And so, and so AOL picked that up too. And then yeah. they started doing it mm. because the New York Times did it. And then I was like, oh, you guys, like, I don't, it's a secret identity. <laughs> you blew it. <laughs> oh, but it's not so secret. At least I got a sweet name. Your secret safe with us. Yeah, Where's I'll, that? I'll, you know, my name's Danica. I wish I could just go by Danica and not have a last name. You could though. You could just say that. You know, I mean, one yeah. day that's, that's what Prince said. That's what Cher yeah, said. I know. That's what I think them. about all the yeah. time. Madonna. It's just mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. yeah. It's just one thing. I don't. There's not a lot of Danicas running around, and the only ones there are, they already have last names. Yeah, Danica mm-hmm. Patrick. Or think Danica of her, McKellar. Never heard of her. She was Winnie, Winnie on the Wonder Years. No way. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sorry that I know her as Winnie, and when she popped up on West Wing, I was like, Winnie's on this show? I'm sorry, I don't know her name. <laughs> yeah. I know yeah. she has a theorem named after her or whatever. She does. Yeah. That's exciting stuff. I don't. No, me neither. No, <laughs> way too stupid for that. 